y'all, there you have it, another recipe in my kitchen. Fast, easy, and simple. You wanted me to make a really tasty kind of a bake. You didn't want no regular thing. You want the fancy dance thing, right? So I am here to deliver, as don't always. Where you coming from? You don't remember where you're coming from? You don't remember where you're coming from? Rest of our eye, eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed ya? You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when him need ya. So, my wife, I'm gonna stay wide and just cook while you hold it, right? Mm -hmm. So, alright, let me show me how to cook. Cause if you have to get the lights and eat and whatever, let me show me how to cook. Let's see here. I kept the chicken right there, so. I'm going to cook some... This is a requested recipe, you know, camera girl. Mm -hmm. um, somebody wanted me to make a baked chicken recipe using thighs. And they want me to incorporate lime or lemon or orange. So I'm going to choose orange. So it's going to be off the charts. Quick, fast, quick and easy though, you know. So we can start talking about what I'm going to do. But anyway, now I'm going to use some drumsticks. I'm going to have... One, two, three, four, five, seven drumsticks, right? That's so. So now you want to make sure, say, get me another camera too. I'm um, like, you see the panel full of say they're distracted. No, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm so All right, so you. one thing about chicken, right? When you're cooking chicken, poultry, beef, whatever, you want to make sure that you wash it thoroughly, nice and clean. But wash my one with vinegar, lemon juice, and vinegar, lemon juice, and salt. I make it sit. But I'll put a, a, a video down below so they can see open clean up on the chicken and stuff like that. Now it won't be light like another way now, but anyway. It's just really bright. It's bright. Mm. But anyway, they're gonna make it all it while I'm here. So look. We we'll have uh, the orange right here. Orange right there, so and here so this is how we're gonna use to season up the chicken. So let me get some light lighting. All right, so we have black pepper and salt. I will have cayenne pepper. We have paprika. This is smoked paprika. Garlic powder and onion powder. Ginger powder, right? So, Jamaican all-purpose seasoning and dried parsley. Right. So this is what we're gonna use for season up the chicken. Oh yeah, we need some flour too. So. I have to get some flour because yes, honey, this is gonna be lit. All right, so let me do this first, which is mixing up this thing right here. So, and then I'll make this chicken kind of marinate. So, we have to do that. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is blend up everything. Yeah, so, so with all my spices and all that other good jazz right there, my other. Put all of this on the chicken, right? Right, come on, girl. Mm -hmm. The baby. So yeah, this is what we have to do because everything in this kitchen has to be nice. We call it fast, easy, and simple, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, not forget another. Miss, we need a ziplock bag in our box. My outer ziplock bag. So I'm just gonna go for one container and do that. So let me get a container. Gonna use this right here, and so I'm gonna put my chicken in this container right here. All right, so we go ahead and we dump the chicken in. Uh, somebody mowed the lawn outside, but mm -hmm. we just gonna work with that right now. And then we just go ahead and dunk all that goodness on that chicken. Likes all right, mm -hmm. and we need my flour as well. So that's how I grab my flour too. I probably need a like a cup of flour, so let me get my flour. So we're gonna take this all the way. See, I got all my equipment because I wasn't planning on having my baby girl doing all of this, so I'm doing it. My she's gonna do it for me today. So I'm gonna save it. Mm. So I got my flour, and we gonna put one cup of all-purpose flour. In your saw, right? One cup of apple was And I'm just going to get my tap my hand and we're going to just mix them flour up with everything. 
Mm. Oh, my dog, I bark. Future, what's, wait, what's going on? Someone coming through the front door. So, yeah, we're going to do all of this. And get this, all the spices on here. I want... We're going to put this in the oven. But before I do that, y'all... I'm going to um let it sit for a few minutes. I'm going to give it like 30 minutes because it's going to go in the oven anyway. So we're going to, I'm going to get the oven going while this is um sitting and soaking up the goodness, right? So, see you in 30 minutes. camera girl gone so but that on my own no my I have, I have two oranges right here that has been peeled nice and thin I have seven drumsticks so I made seven slices I have one and a fourth cup of orange juice fresh orange juice right then I have four tablespoons of butter you could use margarine too but you want to melt that margarine right you could put it in the oven or you could put it in your baking container put it in the oven and make it melt I'm gonna put it in the microwave, make it melt fast. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. So we pop that up in the microwave and put about 30 seconds on that to make it melt. And then when it comes out, I have nice melted butter. Right there, so nice melted butter, perfect. Then I had my one fourth of a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice to that and just mix that together like so. So, okay, good. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the butter and the orange juice mixture in here like that. Let me put that so they can see. We are going to start putting our chicken in. So we put our chicken in like that. This recipe is so simple guys, it's so simple, but not only is it simple, but it's also delish. Delish! I've made this a couple of times, you know, and I'm telling you, everybody love it when we do it. Quick, 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 right? So when we do that done, then we'll put the oranges in there. So now with the orange, we just go, go ahead and place them inside here because when it starts to bake y'all that orange is going to send off some serious signals in this thing here so we just go ahead and just lay it up in there real good just lay it back boys up in there oh I missed a spot right there alright lay them up lay them up and that's it right there. Now we are going to pop it in the oven just like that. Just like that, pop it in the oven, preheated oven only at 375 degrees. In about half an hour, I will come right back here. We're gonna flip them bad boys over. And yes, it is gonna be yummylicious. Okay, y'all, after the first 25 minutes of baking, right? You're gonna turn these over on the other side. You're gonna put these back inside of your oven and you're gonna let those cook up real nice. See that color, y'all? Nice color right there. You're gonna pop it back in that oven and allow it to bake on the other side. However, you're gonna get that orange slices and place it on top of your chicken because you want when it's baking this time you want that flavor from your orange to just penetrate right inside of that chicken there just like that now goody make sure this time you cover this up with your foil paper and pop it in the oven and within 20 minutes this is going to be done i'll meet you right back here Okay, y'all, we are all done here. 
And that chicken right there is looking mighty, mighty, mighty fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on a plate. And we are going to serve this up. This chicken, y'all, is super delicious. I kid you not. You are going to fall in love with this recipe. And this is all the natural juices from the chicken. Yum, delicious, guys. You are going to fall in love with this recipe. To deliver, as always. Don't forget to give your girl a big fat thumbs up. Like and share the recipe with your friends and family. Yeah, tell me what you'd like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy! Okay, y'all, let's give this a taste test right here. Look at that, y'all. I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time to eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.